Hey guys, Losing Image back again, once again, for another deck profile. Um, so today we're going to be covering Dragonic Overlord, except it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy because I'm a filthy degen, so I decided, hey, why not slap an engine that does not belong in the deck? Moving on to the deck profile, um, first off, you got the basic ride line. You got the Overlord ride line here, which um, instead of running the Nirvana ride line, you can run in order to get the Trickstar out of your deck for free. But in reality, being able to go from Undo to Bard to Nahalem and then use Bard's skill, Counter Blast 1, to grab any Grade 1 out of your deck is just overall more beneficial for the late game. Because eventually you will see a Trick Star, even if it's very late. So riding onto Bard, going into the deck and grabbing the perfect guard that can stop your opponent's tax late game, is it, it's vital to the deck's survival and vital to pretty much any Overlord player's survival in a game. And then not, not only that, but the fact that Nahalem then proceeds to call himself out from the soul when you ride Overlord, and then sits there and essentially just becomes a soul blast tool to make your Overlord an 18k base and 28k base on Persona Ride turns, essentially guaranteeing that no matter what rear guard you swing at, it's going to hit, is extremely vital to the deck, guaranteeing the restand. Now moving on from the ride line, we've got an obvious three Dragonic Overlord in the, in the main deck for Persona Ride reasons. Overlord here, his skill is Counter Blast 1 and discard a card from your hand. When this unit's attack hits a rear guard once per turn, you can restand him and he loses a drive. And then as well, he's continuous Vanguard or Rearguard Circle. When he swings at a rear guard, your opponent cannot guard with cards from hand. They can still drop orders, but throughout my numerous games of this deck, I don't think I've ever had a single person drop an order card to defend whatever rear guard it's attacking. Most people don't think about it, and a lot of times it's not worth it. And then I get to restand, swing again, and that increases my chances of hitting crits, friend triggers, over triggers, and heal triggers. And then moving further on, we're going to move into the first part of the deck, the first engine of the deck, which is the Overlord engine. In the Overlord engine, we're running three Berserk Dragon. Berserk Dragon is a really, it's a really good card in the deck. Counter Blast 1 to retire somebody's you, to retire a grade 2 or less unit and it gains 5k when it swings means 15k or 25k attacker on Persona Ride turns all on its own. It doesn't need anyone else's skills. Just It just needs an Overlord Vanguard. And then moving on from that, we then run three not, uh, Embodiment of Armored Bar in the deck. We run this guy because... When he when Overlord hits the Vanguard, he gets the ability to gain 5k, making him a 13k bait, 13k booster or swing. So when you have Elgar in front of him, Persona or not Persona, but Overdressed, Elgar's already at 20. So when Bar boosts, that's a 30 33k attack, meaning you're hitting the magic 20k shield number, meaning they have to drop another card, not only the front trigger. Of course, on Persona Ride turns, it's 43k, meaning that two triggers, two standard 15k shield triggers will not stop the attack, and you're golden to just start swinging, and they have to draw PGs or something. Either way it goes, they're dropping at least two cards from their hand. And then finally, in the Overlord engine, we have three Gojo. Gojo is a pretty simple card. When it boosts a Vanguard and the attack hits, you just retire at the counter charge one, which is very vital in a deck like this that's full of units that are counter charging. Bar, Berserk Dragon, Overlord, all the Virenas, they're all counter blasting, so you need to be able to counter charge as you go as you go about. Now, normally in most Overlord decks, a lot of these encounter cards, obviously minus Bar and the Hollem, will be at four. And the Hollem's cut completely in the deck. Bar and Gojo and Berserk Dragon are all at three. And that is because in this kind of deck, you want to make room for the Overdress units. And the Overdress units are in the deck to provide a push. Now, first off, you have two Virena Valiente. You then have four Virena Elgar. And you then have three Arcs. The Arcs is at three because the deck already decks out pretty fast. It's why you don't want to run draws in the deck. So instead of running four of it and just hitting it consistently for Counter Blast 1, which is again another reason why you need Gojo, you would then run it at three, you keep Valiant at two, Virena Elgar at four, and then this way these six cards will be offensive units 
these two can overdress on top of these two and the Virena arcs only hits one time maybe in a game if that if you see the arcs and it's a good time to use it then that's great go for it it's same in eugene same in nirvana but overall in this deck you're really looking for the offensive power that comes from elgar and Virena valiente who are both swinging for at least 20 to 23k and then bars boosting them meaning they're hitting the 33k the 43k attack numbers Hitting those magic numbers, meaning your opponent has to drop more and more cards from hand. Now, of course, you also got to run four Trickstar. You got to run the four Trickstar here. Because otherwise, you're unable to overdress your units. And if you're not running Trickstar with overdress cards, you're doing something wrong. Now, because the deck has a lot of overdress units, your hand will get cluttered a lot. So to solve that, we're running one Horns of Blessing which the skill is you discard a card with the overdress ability from your hand, meaning not Trickstar, but literally any of these. There are nine cards in the deck with the overdress ability. So you just discard one of them, you draw two cards, you get to recycle your hand, you can hit PGs, more defensive cards, or you could hit more offensive cards from the Overlord engine, and you can just fish out cards through this by sacrificing cards you don't need because the overdress cards are then filling up your hand. Now, next up, we are running four Perfect Guards. Pretty standard in pretty much any deck in the format right now, unless you're insane. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously we're running Twin Buckler Dragons, uh, the Trial Deck Perfect Guards, because when you've got two cards in hand and you drop that one, you get to save that one card, Persona Ride the next turn, or call whatever you need to call to maybe wrap up the game. But going into the trigger lineup, we've got one over trigger for obvious reasons. It's the over trigger. We have four Blaze Maiden Zone, and three Conduct Spark Dragon, so seven crit. We then have four Blaze Maiden Parama, so four Frent, and then four Blaze Maiden Rona. The trigger lineup is four Frent, seven crit, one over, four heal again. And really, the issue with running draws in this deck is that you're gonna deck out really fast, because Overlord's constantly hitting three drive checks a turn, You've got arcs, you've got horns of blessing, you've got so many cards that filter through. You've got bar searching out a grade one at the start of the game. Then when you hit the over trigger, you're gonna draw a card. If you hit it offensively, you're gonna get two more drive checks on overlord. That's a three attack turn. So when you've got overlord, you swing. If you hit it on the first, if you hit it on the first twin drive, that's great. You get another twin drive, then you can restand again. If you don't, that's still fine. You'll still get the second. You'll still get the second attack from Overlord's skill, and then you'll hit it, you'll get the third attack, though it'll still only be one drive. But again, the deck faces an issue of decking out when you're running too many of these cards that are drawing cards. So in reality, what you're going to want to do is you're going to run more crits for the offensive power that comes from a restanding Vanguard, as well as these rear guards like Virena Elgar, that are hitting 43k, 33k numbers, that are hitting the, the magic numbers. And then you're going to be running Frents because in an ideal board situation, you're going to have something like this. You're going to have an overdressed Virena. You're going to have a Berserk Dragon. You're going to have Gojo. And you're going to have Vars. And with this comes an overdressed Virena, which is 20k base in and of itself. And when you hit that front trigger, this is already 15. This becomes 25. This becomes 23. This becomes 30. These bars are all boosting for 13k, meaning this is hitting 43k now, and on Persona Ride turns 53k. These numbers are so large that your opponent is forced to drop more and more cards from their hand. Of course, you can brick with the deck. Sometimes you're not going to hit the Trick Stars, sometimes you're not going to hit the Virenas, but that's okay. That's why we're running cards like Horns of Blessing, and we're running Arcs, and we've got Triple Drive to sort of filter out these cards. Filter out your hand as you're going about, that way you can fish out those trick stars from your deck a little bit more efficiently and the Virenas more efficiently. Awesome. So any last words? Uh, the deck is mid. I enjoy it. I play it for <laughs> memes. And if I'm being honest, if there was ever a time that I would unironically say this is my losing image, this is it. This is my losing image. This deck is. All right. Thanks, Cyrus.